If it ain't one dummy shit in the bed, it's another. It's the gift that just keeps on giving. And it's a gift you really don't want. Anyway, intro. What is good, Chris Squad fam? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another review video. And yes, yes, y'all. We are having a look at one of Church's um, <clears throat> reactions here. Um, this time, he's going to react to a song that was made um, by uh, this other girl that, um, yeah, it's it's still early ass o'clock for me. Um, this girl that uh, uh, whose name I can't remember off the top of my head. Um <clears throat> but anyway, much like Katie No Dubs, uh, this girl done came out with a with a dumbass song of her own. Um, and I like the title of Church's video, man. This one's called Her Social Media Career is Over. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this thing thing by liking the hit hit. Go. There's nothing I love more <clears throat> than watching evil people's life deteriorate to nothing. Facts. It's even better when they're trying to save it and they're I know, huh? failing at saving it as well. Yep. True. Like a YouTube star, right? Or something like that. Ish. I'm just a comedian. Hey, because I literally Nicole, said you just had your exit. exit. Give me a sec. Do you guys, can you guys pause for a second? Yeah. You know, I had back surgery like a week ago. Really like a week ago. I couldn't do stand up because I couldn't stand up. Give me a sec. You put a lot of the stand up content out. I used to be a cheerleader for the Toronto Raptors. Like, actually, for real, I was a cheerleader for the Toronto Raptors. And it was us. Bruh. Bruh. Imagine, <clears throat> imagine trying to be with a chick like this. Yeah, I know it's a terrible thought, ain't it? Bruh. <clears throat> yes. You consider that stand-up comedy? Pardon? You consider that stand-up comedy? Yeah, I do. I consider what I'm doing stand-up straight to the camera and. I'm playing with it's the not. editing a lot. <laughs> Man. Ooh, she just got put in her place. And uh, it just went right over her head because she couldn't shut the hell up. And I bet your parents are super proud <clears throat> of you on opposite day, aren't they? Finally. Well, uh, to her, every day is opposite day. The one day out of the year, they can say something good about you just because everything's opposite. All the other days of the years, your dad's probably like, man, I wish I would have squirted her on a fucking pillow. At least he could have threw the pillow away. And also, a pillow costs a lot less than a 40-year-old daughter coming back to Canada all the time being like, I need more money to act famous, dad. Fucking Jesus Christ. She's already been a fake paraplegic. Not, not even capping. She has faked being... Paralyzed from the waist down. She went on a talk show with actual famous comedians and thought that she was a stand-up comedian because she stood up in front of an iPhone and said some shit that she thought was funny. You can Yeah. Yeah. When really all she's doing is just making a freaking ass out of herself to which she doesn't need any help with. I mean she's doing a fine job on her own. Oh yeah. You're doing great. Consider that stand-up comedy? Yeah, I do. I consider what I'm doing stand-up straight to the camera. Mm. And she tried to make the famous YouTuber Matthew Santorno mentally destroy himself. Popular YouTuber. Facts. YouTuber by the name of Matt Santoro recently released a very public statement on his vlog channel talking about an abusive relationship that he ended mm. back in September. This individual that I was with was extremely jealous viciously jealous <clears throat> everything was made to be about her this person prevented me from leaving their home and said you're not going anywhere at which point i was hit in the face it so you got <clears throat> a hostage situation because that is technically um kidnapping i mean you're trying to ho hold the man prisoner and then you start hitting him so you got you got you know domestic abuse so kidnapping, domestic abuse. Even went to the point where she cried wolf so many times <clears throat> she actually turned into a bad wolf and then tried to cry wolf on the lead singer of the Bad Wolves. In the latest in Tommy Vexed news, he had gotten in trouble 
because he had supposedly beaten the fuck, allegedly beaten the fuck out of his girlfriend multiple times, <clears throat> including putting her in UFC-style chokes. He was dating a YouTuber by the name of Nicole Arbor. Darn, I wonder why all these rich, famous guys who don't know each other have all the same problems with one singular person. Right? All these people who never had a history of domestic violence, you know what I mean, or, or, or any form of abuse of any kind, all of a sudden they date this one girl, and now all of a sudden they're, they're a bad person because, oh, well, if he did this to this girl... Then uh, I wonder uh, how many other girls they've been with and that may, they may have done this too. No, no, no. Instead of looking at it that way, think about the one common denominator that these dudes who don't, like, like he said, don't know each other have in common. Just saying. And it was us. Probably because she's a useless, and it was us. talentless piece of shit. That's that's what I think. Mm -hmm. So I forgot this poop particle of a person even existed. Hell, I figured she'd have dropped her iPhone in the toilet and drowned trying to get <clears> it or something by now. But when I found out that Amber... Facts. Facts. She she probably one of those one, one of those type of type of women that that that, that would eat those freaking Tide Pod things or whatever the fuck those things are called. Anyway. Ever heard shit in Johnny Depp's bed? I was like, oh yeah, there's the co <clears throat> And apparently yesterday, somebody told me, they were like, oh, yeah, she made a diss track against you. I was like, who made a diss track? Old Nicole Canadian Poop Chin. What? She does music now? This video's almost been out for four months. Damn, from way up here, that kind of shit don't hit my radar, fam. <laughs> what is up with these crazy females, like, running their fingers through my hair and then thinking they're, like, automatically famous singers? I don't get it. But fuck it. Let's check it out. Well, it's a new sound. All right, bye. I'm just kidding. I'm here to watch the train wreck. Hey, it's my time at a line. Fuck what you say. Oh, my God, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're off to a, a rousing start, aren't we? What the fuck are you saying? What are you, are you rapping through your nose holes? Because I'm swinging from the rafters so late. Huh? Swing it from the rapper Sutta Soleil? What? Huh? There's this thing called pronunciation. You should look it up. Now she... Now, now this is a prime example of, by the legal definition of uh, mumble rapping. She, she a mumble rapper. She she trying to be a Mac. Well, she's not trying to be. She is a Mac mumbler. Bruh. This one's for the crazies. The bitch is the lazy. It's for the lazy crazy. So you got an anthem for all the crazies, the bitches, and the lazies. Pretty sure Tech Nine has a song like that called Slackers. And that and that is a much much better song, you know what I'm saying, bruh? Easy bitches, huh? It's for you, isn't it? It is. This one's for the heartbreaks and all the lies. I love how she's subconsciously talking about herself. Right, right. She's talking about heartbreaks. She's talking about lies. So, it, so, so basically, you're you're uh, dissing yourself then in this song is what is what I'm gathering. This is a self diss, a self. Um, defecation song, I guess. Is it defecation? Anyway, y'all y'all know what the hell I'm trying to say. But anyway, in other words, you are shitting all over yourself, I should say. So yeah, I was right. Anyway. This one's for all the heartbreaks and the lies that I told. <clears throat> Bitty bitty bum bum riding with the top down? You don't have a car or a driver's license. What are you talking about? Auto L. No, you can't drive. You don't have a car or a. 
So rapping about things you don't have or singing about things you don't have, whatever the hell she's trying to do. L. Mumbling on a track. Another L. Bruh. A driver's license. <laughs> See, this is why everyone's not a songwriter. Biddy mm. biddy bum bum, riding with the top down. Biddy biddy bum bum, driving to your hometown. Biddy biddy bum bum, fuck with a new sound. The word fuck and your name don't go together, okay? <laughs> it costs a lot of unnecessary money, which is why I didn't have sex with you. I got a bigger dick than you and I don't even got one. <laughs> you didn't see my dick. I wouldn't let you. And it made you angry. Facts. And the dude has the receipts to prove it. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a video he put out a while back where he put out the text messages. A little text exchange between him and her. So, um, yeah, not looking good for you, girl. You, 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 you keep doing stupid things after stupid things after stupid things you keep playing this stupid game and you keep winning stupid prizes oh boy and i think that's funny if you're such a badass why that guard and that shotgun because i'm actually famous see this lets us know that you don't know what that's like and you never will I mean, listen to this fucking song. Lyrical championship arena, this will be fun. I'm already finished and you're just on your free time. She's still rapping about my penis. You know, I'm really sick of these rappers <clears throat> rapping about shit they've never seen or done before. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Facts. And fellas, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But tell me. Tell me where, 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 where I'm lying. F feel free to, to check me. The one go-to, and ladies, this is something that y'all need to be listening in on too. Cause I, because uh, it's literally at, at, at a point where shit like this don't bother us. But when your only good com comeback, at least in your own warped mind, is talking about our dicks, you know what I'm saying? Talking about the size of our dicks and whatnot. If that's the only thing you got, then um, you may as well not get into comedy. You sure as hell may may not want to get into the music game because that shit is so watered down, so cliched. We now laugh at you when you go there because we know that that's all you got. That's your one go-to. You don't have anything else. And you, you, you think that, that that empowers you, which makes it even more funny. You think this gives you that, that, that alpha bitch energy, which makes it even more funny. Oh, man. Anyway. Eight of the players, the truth sayers, hey, hey. When in doubt, just say hey a bunch of times. That'll work. This one's for the exes with all the lies. Because our lawyers were too good for you to get our dollar signs. <laughs> uh, so this one's for all the exes with the lies. So again, you're dissing yourself. This is a self-diss track. Bruh. Where are their nice guys? You know, everyone knows we're nice guys. That's... You don't have to tell anyone. Everyone else already knows. And church ain't wrong. <laughs> the only way this song could be useful is if it's like used to torture terrorists or something. What, what, what's really hilarious about that is that I can actually picture, you know, our military using this, this song to um, interrogate, you know, a, a, a terrorist in order to get some answers. <laughs> yeah. No, no, please turn it off. All right, all right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. <laughs> too many, I let it slip and too. Holy shit, she just fucking transformed into a taller, fatter, older diesel gang. What the hell does that? Really? Let me wind that back. Those were nice guys. That's 
you don't have to tell anyone. Everyone else already knows. <laughs> the only way this song could be useful is if it's like used to torture terrorists or something. Too many, I let it slip and too Holy shit, she just fucking transformed into a taller, fatter, older diesel gang. What the hell just happened? Yeah, she did. She did. Bruh. Wow. We put up with this shit, three wishes, and then off for your head, full vengeance. Oh, fuck. That sequence of words did not work at all. Talking about three wishes and vengeance. Like, huh? It, she just fucking transformed into a taller, fatter, older diesel gang. What the hell just happened? Uh, we put up with this shit, three wishes. We put up with this shit, three wishes. And then off for your head for vengeance. And then off with your head for vengeance. Huh? What? We put up with this shit, three wishes, and then offer your head, off with your head for vengeance? Oh yeah, she, she, she didn't flunk grammar school. Oh fuck. <laughs> what does your family think of you? They probably all changed their last names. I feel like I'm watching this. Pretty sure they changed the last names and disowned her ass. Substitute teacher have a midlife crisis, and in the process, they were like, Oh, look, a microphone. Me to I can see that. I can see that, and it's really sad, really pathetic. You have to open. High five to my team, didn't let them get the best of me. Are you still talking about your team, or. High five to my team. Didn't let them get the best of me. Microphone. Why me too hard? Dumb and sad. High five to my team. Didn't let them get the best of me. You have to open your mouth. You have to open your mouth. When you say words. When it sounds like you have a mouthful of oatmeal and a lisp and braces mm -hmm. all at the same time when you're rapping, you should probably not be a rapper. Facts. I never seen your tits. <laughs> I didn't want to. Who's your fucking producer? Did y'all just like dump out a shit ton of forks and spoons and add like a snack? Seven deadly sins, but the devil is your enemy. Okay. Mayor in an 808. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there and I'm going to say bitty bitty bum bum bitty bitty bum bum bitty bitty bum bum and put all of the echo and all of the auto tune on the bitty bitty bum bum. It's your whole career, throw it up, look your legacy. It's all up for fun, now you gotta pay the toll. Oh, she's so crazy, or maybe you're an asshole. I'm glad I'm looking back now. I'm glad I'm looking back now. If Denial was a rap song. Dude, if I was her dad, I would dedicate my entire life to building a time machine to go back and shove her back into my ball sack. <laughs> if you have to roofie someone to make them sleep with you, you're a pussy. Wow. Excuse me, bitch. Did you forget that nothing on the internet goes away? Um, and we were going to a studio after, and I'm sitting in there, and then, like, the blackness started to roll in. No. And I was like, oh, fuck, I know this feeling. Because I've been roofied six times now. I'm oh, a collector. Oh, my God. Here comes the Ryan Upchurch part. The dude could have just left me because I seemed like I was just drunk. Right. And I was like, I'm just going to get an Uber. He's like, no, the fuck you're not. Yeah. I start throwing up all over his car. He not only wouldn't leave me, he went into, like, crazy protector mode took me to the hospital in the mm. outskirts not in the main hospital because yeah. he's like people might think you're ODing or yeah. something and see you yeah like just an this is what's funny to me is because people might see him online and think he's an asshole because no, of his rants all. some people yeah. do some people are like yeah whatever outlaw asshole whatever yeah but in real life 
he's super nice. Yeah. And then other celebrities act like they're really nice. Yeah. But in real life, they're pieces of shit. Oh, yeah. So, no. yeah, he totally saved me. Like, literally saved. That's a testament to who that person is. Man, your career is fucking over, dog. Especially after the women over on my side of the internet see this. Mm. Maybe you should go follow Diesel Gang on Instagram or something. Y'all can live together in a broke down diesel truck, <laughs> eating pork and beans and drinking dog beers every day. <laughs> Congratulations. I love how my man brought that whole thing around full circle. <laughs> oh man, that was good. You're doing great. Yep. <laughs> oh, I definitely got to match the like on this one, man. Oh my god. Oh these 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 chicks with these awful awful songs. Oh my god. So apparently this was supposed to be a diss track and it is a diss track, but it's not dissing the person you think is dissing. Oh, she done dissed herself on this song. I mean, this song, much like Katie No Dubs' um, fucking dog beer song, this was a whole ass L. I mean, shit. Shit. Oh, man. All right, y'all. So that was Church with Her Social Media Career Is Over. This video was hilarious as fuck. And um, y'all want to watch and listen to this on your own free time and interrupted. You know what to do with that link for the original video in the description down below. While you're there, please, by all means, please feel free to check out all the other links in the video description down below. That would be very much appreciated. If you're with this reaction, y'all want to do the thumbs up down below. You know what to do with that comment section down below. Look forward to checking out all y'all's feedback as I always do. And uh, y'all know what to do with that subscription button. And uh, y'all know what to do with the bell notifications as well. All of that would be very much appreciated. And yeah, till the next one. It is your boy, Jason JV. Saying, till the next one, Creep Squad fam. Y'all have a blessed one. All right, peace.